All right, so we just checked in to the Disneyland Hotel. Sorry, I can't get over saying that because I'm so excited to be here. You guys, we made it to our room in the Disneyland Hotel. Oh my gosh, I am so excited. It plays music. Is that what I think it is? We've been there. I've been on that ship. I want this room. We are. into the video I do want to mention really quickly that though this video is not sponsored I did get a travel agent rate so I did get a discount on the room but Disney has really no say or any interest on whether or not I do a video it's purely just because I'm a travel agent in which if you're wondering when the heck did you become a travel agent that actually happened over the last few months since the last time I actually made a video not posted one so over the last few months while I haven't been doing cruises I have been doing the courses to be a travel agent so that's why that explains that so just want to give you a heads up just in case if anyone's wondering Wondering, and that way no one can blame me for anything and this isn't gonna be biased this is all purely honest Disney has no interest in my videos probably don't even know I exist so just a heads up before we get into the video good morning my name is Steven today I'm here with my lovely girlfriend Jalen as always we have just parked here at the Disneyland Hotel we are gonna do one night here which is very different for us because we always just come because we're locals we don't ever have to stay overnight we can just drive home at the end of our Disneyland day but we're trying something different. We're doing a little bit of a staycation just because, why not? <laughs> Decided to try it out. And we'll be talking about whether or not it's worth it to come and stay here at Disneyland Hotel. Is it worth be, the premium price? We're gonna be looking at all the amenities, going to the pool, doing all of that kind of stuff. So if you're interested in what the Disneyland Hotel is like, stay tuned. just checked in to the Disneyland Hotel. Sorry, I can't get over saying that because I'm so excited to be here. Um, so we just checked in. We're gonna head over to the room, drop off our bags. We'll do a room tour for you guys. I think we just got the basic two queen um, bed room. Um, but right now we're just in the lobby still. They have this really cool teacup chair, so I just had to sit in it. And they have cartoons playing, which is really cool. Um, they just have like the little Mickey Mouse um, tunes. So yeah, it's a really cute area to hang out with your family. And yeah, let's go check out the room. So actually, the Disneyland Hotel has three towers. It's got the Fantasy Tower, which is where we just checked in, the Adventure Tower, which is off to the left, and then the Frontier Tower, which is all the way on the opposite side of the Fantasy Tower. And I think they're building a fourth tower for DVC members, but that's not built yet. So depending on when you watch this video, that fourth tower probably doesn't exist yet. But we're going to be staying in the Frontier Tower, which we're looking forward to. And I just really can't wait to get there. It's extremely hot out right now. Hey, we're going there. Look at the mirrors! They're sparkly! That's so cool! Good This is so cute. They really are capturing the Frontierland theme in this tower. Look at our keys! Look at the comforters! They have Mickey's on them! And the headboard! And the lamp! Did they notice if I stole it? Asking for a friend. You guys, we made it to our room in the Disneyland Hotel! Oh my gosh, I am so excited. This is amazing. We have a beautiful view of the parking lot, so uh, yeah, <laughs> could be better, but yeah. plays music. No, I had no idea. Oh my god. I didn't know that. I thought it just did the light. That is so cool. 
and then the lights stay on when the music's over. Oh my gosh, that's so awesome. I'm so excited. So this is a Disneyland Hotel standard view two queen bedroom. We're gonna do a tour of it really quickly so you get a good feel of what it's like to be in this room. I almost want to say cabin because of cruise ships, but this is not a cruise ship cabin. This is much larger. This is a hotel room, much nicer. So right off the bat, we have the Mickey hands and the Mickey ears on the sink. It is quite phenomenal. The theming in this room is just above and beyond. It's so cool. There's so much Mickey in here. I love it. For the last 10 minutes without the camera being on, it has just been Jalen going around finding every little Disney detail that there is. And they've put a lot of attention to detail in this room. It's quite phenomenal. Oh, the other thing I want to mention too is that they actually have little H2O plus body washes, shampoo, hand wash, all that stuff. But it's not like the cruises where they give you none of that to take home. It's all the individually wrapped, so you could probably steal it. Probably. We will be stealing it. So yeah, it's the sea salt, which is like the one that we've used on the cruise ship. Steven loves it. He, like on the cruises, he doesn't even pack soap because he uses these. And it's really exciting to actually have little ones to take home other than the big ones that are like sealed and stuff so you can't like steal it. That's true. Um, so yeah, when I saw these, I was super excited. Yeah, it's nice to know that they, uh, well, it's a waste because not all guests use all of it, but for the guests that do like to take home and collect them and not buy the product, this is perfect for us. Also, they're actually really big. Normal like hotel ones are like literally this big. They're probably double the size which is really nice if you have a family in here because then there's enough soap to go around. Okay, on to the next room. Really quickly, I do want to mention there is a closet here. They have a little bit of, they have a luggage rack holder, whatever that's called. So we put our luggage there for now. There's quite a bit of room to hang things. They even come with hangers too. And if you need to do laundry and dry cleaning for a charge, they will do it for you. And then across the way is the bathroom. We've got a nice toilet in case you need to use that. But the shower, a little bit more interesting. It's a shower bath combo. So if you have little ones, it's really good because then you can bathe them. This also has the little ears as well. And the hot, on, and cold are written in Disney letters, which is kind of unique and cool. Kinda, it's very unique and very cool. Sorry, he's not as excited as I am. Also, this light has Mickey's on it. Just thought I'd mention that. The towels do not though. So the cruise line has a one up on that. Oh, even to mention, the uh, room occupied is pretty cool too. It's actually the same one as Disney World, which we noticed as soon as we got here. Yeah, I stole the Disney World one. And then of course, as I keep hitting the focus button, as we walk in, we have the main room. We have a nice little desk to work on. There's actually a few USBs and uh, plugs to go plug in. There's not a lack thereof, so if you need to charge all your phones and any equipment that you have, like if we're us, yeah, that's actually really nice to see. And then... And they have this cool lamp that also has a Mickey Mouse on it. Of course, Mickey. <laughs> then there's a nice ice container, the TV, which welcomes you into the room. There's actually Disney music playing, but we didn't want it because of copyright. Sorry about that if, you're, if you like hearing Disney music in the background. It's just, just not that type of day today. And then they have a Keurig with Joffrey's coffee, actually. Yeah, so the, the Joffrey's coffee, which is like Disney coffee, they have those, they have decaf and regular, and there's like little Mickeys on them, of course. And they also have um, two types of tea, a black tea and a green tea. Lots of cups, I'm seeing four cups, which is like a good amount, and then four more cups over here, so eight cups. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's a lot of cups. So if you have like a family in here, you guys can all get, you know, there's enough cups for everyone. Yeah, in which that's kind of the point of this room is to be fitting a family because that's why there is two queens in the room. Makes things a lot easier for those of you with families that have multiple people in the party. Which, coming from a large family, I can say there's also a good amount of floor space. So you can line up those sleeping bags. Um, if you're fancy and brings a, bring a air mattress. I mean, it can fit. You can you can fit some people in here. Maybe you're not supposed to. <laughs> so if someone from Disney's watching this, um, just ignore that last part. And then along with um, on here, we also have a mini fridge, which comes empty. So lots of space to put any of your bottles of water for the park or snacks, you know, anything that you need, you can store in there. That's really nice. Which I wanna say is a really good thing that it's loaded empty because 
usually when hotels have things in there, they're trying to charge you more for things. So yeah. thanks to Disney for actually just giving us space to I store. hate it when like I open a mini fridge and it's full. So then I can't put my stuff in it. So it's empty. You can actually use it. You're all set there. <laughs> and then to the best part, arguably the best part, the view, which isn't the greatest view for us. We did get the standard view room, which we knew going into it was only going to be a parking lot. There's a few different views you could have. You could have the pool view, oh, the standard view, which is a parking lot, or the park view, kind of, where you could kind of see the park, or downtown Disney, more or less, yeah. not really so much the park. But it does cost extra. They do charge more for each of those views. So, of course, cheapest <laughs> one here. We had to get in. Oh my gosh, look at that street lamp. There's a Mickey on the top of it. Mm. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> That's so cool. I get distracted. Just to note, a room at Disneyland Hotel can start anywhere from $400 to like almost $1,000. I think the highest I saw this summer was about $800 a night, which is crazy. Actually, I was just looking at weekdays. I imagine weekends are probably way, way more. So the summer is definitely a really packed thing and then weekends just make it that much worse. So be mindful, this Disneyland Hotel is not the value proposition. It is actually the middle tier out of the three hotels here on Disneyland property. Um, Paradise Pier is the cheapest one, but really not by much. And then Grand Californian is the most expensive hotel on property. So Disneyland Hotel is a good medium and it's the original hotel as well. That's why we decided to stay here. It's the hotel that I think both of us have been looking forward to staying at mm -hmm. for all of our lives. Yeah, I've always wanted to stay here. Something that we really never thought was possible, but um, thanks to just the travel agent rate that we had and then just because of timing and we wanted to celebrate something here. It, uh, it all worked out and we're really happy and excited <laughs> to stay one night. I mean, one night's not enough, but it's it's just the beginning. I don't know, it, there's still so much. This, this is the first time of hopefully many. <laughs> hopefully yeah, we'll is... be able to go do the different hotels, um, go experience the different properties, be able to um, capture all of it, all the content for you guys. Um, so if you enjoy this video, be sure to like and subscribe so that way you can continue to see more like this and we can continue to make more like this. So one thing that we realized that you can do is on the app, you can actually unlock your door with your phone. All you have to do is hit tap, door unlock, and voila. But we're leaving. I just wanted to demonstrate. <laughs> Is that what I think it is? We've been there. I've been on that ship. Oh my gosh, I didn't know they had a model of the fantasy here. That is crazy. Perfect time to suggest a video. If you haven't seen it already, check out the fantasy series. It was seven nights aboard the Disney fantasy with a Star Wars day at sea. It was a fantastic cruise. Make sure to check out that series if you haven't seen it already. But. Oh man, I'm just excited to see that ship model. Back to the hotel. <laughs> All right, we're gonna take a look at the Fantasia shop. It's a shop that they have in the Fantasy Tower, um, which is like the main lobby of the Disneyland Hotel. So I can't get over saying that. Sorry, I like specify what hotel. I'm just so excited to be here. Um, so yeah, let's go see what kind of stuff they have in this shop. I we, want this robe. We have found the Disneyland Hotel specific items. This is so cool. I didn't know that these even existed. I didn't know that they had hotel specific stuff. They have this t-shirt that I'll probably be buying. I wonder if I can buy it first. You could buy that yeah. one on the right and I'll buy the left one. I don't one. want this one. Aww. I want this one. I want that one. Actually, this is nice. I would wear this. I just don't like the Minnie Mouse in the corner. It's too random. Anyways, they have a sweatshirt. They have this nice white shirt. They have a robe, which makes me so excited. I don't know why, but I want it. I'm just a robe. $100. Oh wait, I like this shirt too. This one's nice. But I like this one. I like them all. <laughs> Postcards. This is a cute little like candy dish. Not for food use. This is a cute little key dish. <laughs> How's this hat look? I like this. Should I get this, you guys? <laughs> I like it. It has a little bee. 
So yeah, they have a nice little selection of Disneyland hotel stuff. So that's really cool because it's like, you know, hotel specific, which I guess you don't have to be staying at the hotel to get it because anyone can come here, but it's nice to know that they have it. Certainly because we didn't know it existed. <laughs> yeah, I I don't think I've ever seen Disneyland hotel. Maybe I have, but yeah, it's, it's never something that like dawned on me that like existed. So the fact that it does exist, I don't know, it's really cool. And now I really want one. So can I have some money, Steven? Oh, I'll just charge it to the room. Speaking of charging it to the room, something that um, you can do when you stay at um, any of the resort hotels is um, you can charge using your room key um, and it'll charge to the credit card that you put on file. So um, if, so like you don't have to keep your wallet on you. Um, it works in the parks, downtown Disney and all the Disney hotels. Um, you just, all you do is tap your room key and they may ask for your ID. Um, so you just make sure to have that. And then, yeah, it'll all be charged to your room and you don't have to deal with um, like, you know, getting your, like carrying your credit card or cash or anything. So that's really cool and makes me really excited because now I have unlimited access to Steven's credit card. <laughs> Okay, so in the store, they actually have the H2O Plus um, shampoo, conditioner, um, all of that stuff. So if you try it in the room and you like it and decide you want to take some home, you can pick it up here. Um, it is a bit on the pricier side, but this bottle of shampoo is $30. Um, the conditioner, lotion, that's all $30. Um, body wash is like $24, so on the pricier side, but if you like it, you like it. And I mean, it may be worth it for you. So just know that they do sell it in the store here. So with any $50 or more purchase of H2O Plus products, you can get a complimentary um, H2O um, Castle X waste pack. So like a fanny pack you can get for free um, if you spend $50 or more on this kind of product, which is very easy to do. All you have to do is buy a shampoo and conditioner and then you're there. So yeah, that's pretty cool. So in the store they have um, lots of clothes, loungewear, um, they have some undergarments in case you needed some, um, they have some lounge flies here, suitcases, um, literally anything you can imagine, Christmas ornaments. Um, nothing else that I've seen so far though is Disneyland Hotel specific, um, but they do have park stuff or just Disney stuff in general. Um, they have toys for your kids, um, literally socks, spirit jerseys, hats, Anything that you could want or need, they have here. Ears, pressed pennies, basically what's in like every Disney store, they have here in the hotel. It's really nice because you can grab it and go straight to your room rather than like lugging it around the park all day or taking it like from the park all the way to the resort. You can get it straight here, straight to your room. Super easy. So in addition to the Fantasia shops, there is Small World Gifts and Sundries, which is just a small little gift shop which has some swim equipment and snacks for you to go ahead and purchase if you forgot anything. Um, I'm actually considering buying some flip-flops because I completely forgot to pack those which is crazy because it's actually only a 25 minute drive for me to get home and go grab them. So kind of contemplating $30 or 25 minute drive because we do want to go to the pool and check it out and actually go and enjoy it and the concrete is hot so just things that are going through my mind right now but it's pretty cool glad that they have a little small hotel gift shop it's just like your generic hotel gift shop like any other hotel free ice cold water at the pool oh it's good it's good water all right, so we've gone through exploring the entire hotel, I feel like, but lastly, we want to get the pool before it closes and we want to get on the slides too. So we're gonna go ahead and get changed and come back. And now that we're changed, we're ready to go swimming. And we swapped to the GoPro so we can take it underwater or go on the slides or see what we can do with it. We are gonna go down the monorail slides and we are so excited. <laughs> going down the slides, but now it's time to jump into the pool. Did you do it? Not <laughs> 
So right behind me is Trader Sam's, which is an enchanted tiki bar. It's actually the really popular place here at the Disneyland Hotel. You do not need to be here at the hotel to actually go and visit, but it is a walk-up wait list, so it's not like we can go in and shoot it, unfortunately. And since it is a bar, it is only adults only. There's no kids allowed in there, but what do you want from a bar? It, it's a really cool bar of what I've heard. I've never been in there myself. Maybe one day we'll come back and take a look at it because like I said, you don't need to be a guest to be here, but it's something that I feel like if you're here and you're not normally here at Disneyland and you want to experience Disneyland Hotel to its fullest, make sure to check out Trader Sam's Bar. You're not gonna be disappointed. Okay, so I'm here at Tangaroa Terrace, which is on the opposite side of Trader Sam's, and it's the walk-up version of the restaurant. So um, you can just get some snacks, some drinks. Um, it's like a super easy bar and grill. You don't need a reservation. You can just walk up and order. Um, and it's just a super relaxed, chill place to um, eat if you're having a pool day. It's right next to the pool, super easy access. Um, they also have an indoor area where um, you can just pick up like food from a cooler and they have some baked goods, um, some coffee drinks. So anything your heart can desire, you can probably pick it up here. <laughs> okay, here's a little fun fact. They also do have Dole Whip here, which um, if you don't want to get into the park or can't, don't have tickets, park reservations, but still want it, you don't have to be a hotel guest to eat at this restaurant. So therefore you can get a Dole Whip without going into the park, which I think is pretty awesome. <laughs> All right, so we've uh, made it through security from the hotel into downtown Disney. We're gonna head over to the park really quickly. It's about nine o'clock. We're not gonna quite make it to fireworks because we're gonna try to do something for dinner because we haven't eaten yet. We're really hungry. Uh, we've just been walking around exploring the hotel. Then we had a marvelous time in the pool. So, so much fun to be had there. The monorail slides. I mean, slides aren't my favorite thing in the world, but they were certainly a blast. Jalen went on it over and over they and over so again. Fun. And the pools were just beautiful. Um, thankfully, in the in the evenings, they're not that crowded, not so that's all. probably the best time to go. I highly recommend you go. Also, we're talking to a lifeguard too, and he said that actually a great time to go is in the morning. Opens at 8 a.m. and until like about noonish, it is going to be pretty empty, is what he was saying. So something to look out for if you're trying to head to the pool and you don't want it to be crowded. That's probably the best tip we got for you. But now, my biggest gripe about staying at the Disneyland Hotel, it's not actually that close to Disneyland. The uh, unfortunate thing is that at night, the monorail, which is actually the reason why you would want to stay at the hotel, is you can take the monorail, it's right there, it closes at 7 p.m. And in the evenings, there's no way back except for walking through downtown Disney or, yeah, just, just walking. So that's what we gotta do right now. We're gonna walk all the way through downtown Disney just so we can get into the parks. I know, it's such a weird thing to complain about, but if you really want the closest hotel, it's not Disneyland Hotel, it's actually Grand Californian. Yeah, because that one, that, well that one has an entrance straight into um, California Adventure, which is uh, pretty cool. And I'm looking forward to doing that someday. Yeah, one thing that Disneyland Hotel even provides because they know it's actually not that close to the hotel. They provide, if you call guest services, there's one of the options, there's a pre-recorded audio instruction on how to get to the parks. I mean, it's really easy. All you gotta do is just go head out towards downtown Disney, cut through, and you'll get there to the entrance plaza. But, you know, for those that have never stayed here, you may not know that. And like that, we are in and scanned in the park. We have 10 minutes to get there. Oh. And we gotta go back. It took us about 12 minutes. We scanned in the park, but now we gotta go back to Trader Sam's. All right, cool. I thought we had more time than that. Bummer. You didn't even tell them that we're dining there. So, spoiler, we actually ended up getting Trader Sam's uh, walk-up list or whatever. It's not a reservation. If you're within the vicinity, you can join the walk-up queue. And it said 40 minutes, so we thought we had a little bit more time. And by the time we got Everyone all the way over to out. Disneyland, we found out we have 10 minutes to get over there. So it took us about 12 minutes to get here. Now we gotta get all the way back as quick as possible. 
that was short-lived. So to actually prove how long it takes and to see if we actually make it under that 10 minutes, we're gonna start the timer and make it there. 10 minutes and 15 seconds, just barely outside of the time. We did try our best and walked as fast as we could. I must say my legs are really tired. Faster than going. Booty. Well, we can hear the fireworks. Fireworks started. So what you guys just experienced was called the uh-oh, and this is a drink that um, comes in like the souvenir sipper and it comes on fire and then they like threw something at it to make it sparse or something. And I'm not gonna read what's all in it because there's a lot of stuff, but let me just say it's $63, but it looked really cool. And the guy was like spraying like a water bottle and there was like thunder going on. It was pretty cool. <laughs> Okay, so we made it to Trader Sam's. Um, we're sitting outside. We did go inside, get some um, footage of stuff. We saw them make like this really cool drink. Um, and yeah, it's really cool in there. If you guys are here, I highly recommend sitting in there. But it's a beautiful night. They have live music. So we decided that outside was right for us. It's a bit crowded in there and it's really small. Like it's not a big area. So that makes it like, that explains why it's so hard to get seating and stuff there. Um, but yeah, so we are gonna get some great food and it's gonna be great. <laughs> Unfortunately, one thing that you have to note about staying at the Disneyland Hotel, there's really no good place to watch the fireworks show. So it's not like it even really matters that we're here during the fireworks show. Um, the sight line just isn't the greatest. The trees kind of block. And unless you have the room view for it, which we definitely do not, uh, fireworks is kind of a miss here. It's better to be in the park. Oh well. or. Actually, another alternative is to walk across the street and go to the parking structure. And if we weren't here, we would have probably done that. Better luck next time, I guess. Alrighty, I got the Schweitzer Falls, which is made up of tropical juices, Sam's Gorilla Grog, and it's topped with spray. Give it a little stir. Ooh. It's very pineapple-y, but it's good. Very good. It is? Well, it feels a little less pineapple but I don't like pineapple. It might just need to be stirred up more, though. Okay, that was a lot better. <laughs> it needed to be stirred up. It's still very pineapple so if you like pineapple, you'll really like that. If you're not a fan of pineapple, maybe don't come here because it's tropical and everything's pineapple. But, <laughs> but yeah, it's still very good. So I got the Polynesian Punch, which comes with Gorilla Grog and Hibiscus Grenadine. What is Gorilla Grog? It is like... Is it pineapple? Yeah, it was pineapple and something. So I guess, yeah, it's very, that's, that explains the pineapple. But as you can tell, it's a half and half, which looks cool, but I might have to mix it up because that's the grenadine on the bottom, I think. Just try mixing it really quickly, sorry. I really like it, but I like punch in general. No matter what fruit's in it, I just like combinations of fruits and juices. And I like pineapple and like Jalen, so there's that. But we also got an appetizer. Alrighty, so we are gonna try this gyoza. Um, is, can we have the sauce? We're gonna do it without the, the sauce because we don't know if there's milk in it. But. Mm. That's really good. And, um, I don't know, it's pork gyoza. Um, it doesn't have like any kind of crunch. Normally, like the bottom has a little bit of crunch to it. But I think it's because these are just, just streamed, just, just steamed and not fried at all. But they have like a really good flavor to them. Um, the sauce that's like poured on top, really good. <laughs> 
Alrighty, so I did get a kid's teriyaki salmon bowl. They didn't have an adult version and I really wanted salmon. Um, so I went with it. Let's go ahead and try it, even though I know it's gonna be really good. The teriyaki sauce is on the side. For the sake of the video, I'm just gonna dip. We're just gonna do this little piece of salmon. Oh my God, that is really good. I Honestly, I did not have high expectations for this. I thought the salmon was gonna be pretty hard, but it's actually really soft and juicy. And um, like I put it in my mouth and it like kind of exploded. And then the teriyaki sauce. Yeah, the teriyaki sauce tastes really good. The broccoli looks good and it comes on rice. So this whole dish looks pretty good. It was only $10, it was a kid's meal. Um, but between that and our appetizer, I think I'll be pretty full pretty filled up so I'm really happy with this decision okay I got a tonkatsu ramen which is a pork broth ramen it comes with fish eggs got green onions got some eggs has some pork it's gonna be good and of course we have our ramen noodles which is the most important part of a ramen so let's dig right in actually this is a pretty legitimate bowl of ramen the broth is rich the noodles have the perfect chew to it it is $20 though, <laughs> but that's something to remember. But also my favorite part to check is the pork on top. Let's see if it's any good. It's thin sliced pork with a sweet sauce and it just goes perfectly with savoriness of the broth. I don't know if it's worth $20, but it's a pretty, pretty good bowl of ramen and I would get this in any ramen shop. I'm gonna change my mind. I think it's worth $20. I would get it again in a heartbeat. So Trader Sam's was actually pretty good overall oh, i enjoyed really it good. a lot the service was a little slow unfortunately but you know it is the end of the night yeah. and things are starting to wind down so i can't expect much not going to complain i am extremely exhausted though we are going to go to the park not going to put it in the vlog because that's not really part of disneyland hotel but we want to go close the park it's 11 o'clock right now we're gonna get the last hour in because we really haven't been over there at all we intentionally or we intended completely to come and go to Disneyland a lot today, but we actually spent all the time here in the Disneyland Hotel, so. Because we can go to the park any day. We don't get to do the hotel any day, so. But we're deciding to go right now because this is one of those rare occasions where we don't have to drive home after park close, which is really nice. We do have to walk all the way back, unfortunately. Like I said, no monorail. Still complaining about that Disneyland, please bring that back. But I think it's still pretty good. So I lied about the not vlogging part. It is very weird walking in at 11.30 <laughs> for the first time in the day because we've been spending the entire day at the hotel and we're just now getting the park. What a weird feeling that is. This is pretty trippy because everyone is going out of the park. Like we're the only people walking this direction. And uh, it's definitely all like a weird feeling. <laughs> I don't know. And it's like I don't feel bad either because it's not like we have to go home right away because we don't really have to go home. We just got to take our time and get back to the hotel. Yeah. So it's like we could stay like until park closing or, you know, even later because the shops on Main Street are going to be open until one in the morning. So like we could stay then because like we're just going to the hotel. We don't have to worry about like driving home. But we also have an early morning tomorrow, so maybe we won't stay that late. But we're gonna try to just hit one or two attractions, I just mean, for the fun of it. We're already kind of committed because now it's 11.30. So it's not like we have much time to work with here. It's just, it's just the fact that we don't have to drive home. Yeah. So after Haunted, it's now time to go do Thunder Mountain. I do want to note, 55 minute wait here. Uh, I don't know if I truly believe that. My app said 35. App said 35, yeah, the app says 35. Sorry. The ride itself says 55. What's it really? Let's see, what time is it? Start the clock at 11.46. Start the clock at 11.46. We'll see how long it takes. All right, we're stopping the clock at 11.51, which means that it took five minutes to get through the line. 
Yeah, so it was only five minutes, which yeah, is basically a walk-on. So uh, that's pretty good. That's a pretty good deal. And then we asked for the back, so it's gonna be the wildest ride in the wilderness. I do want to mention: Is Disney lying about wait times? Yeah. Should we make a video about that? Maybe. I don't, I don't ever come to the park anymore. We used to do Disneyland content all the time. Does this mean we should bring it back? Should we be investigating this? Leave a comment down below. Here we go. <laughs> the same train. We just got off and asked the cast member because the whole train, like basically the whole train's open. And we were just like, can we just get back on? And they're like, yeah, go for it. <laughs> Let's go. Also, it's like a minute until park closing. Well, definitely no regrets on coming to Disneyland. It was a great option. But unfortunately, we got to take that long walk back to Disneyland Hotel. But it's okay because we're going to Disneyland Hotel. Can I really complain about that? Whether you walk, drive, or take a monorail, or teleport, if you can do that, <laughs> going to Disneyland Hotel sounds like a great idea. But I like the teleportation idea, so. And we're here in the Disneyland Hotel. We have teleported, just like we said. I'll be honest, it's been way too long for me to remember exactly how that transition went. <laughs> but we've made it back uh, to be clear. Like, there's just really no one here. It's, just, it's completely empty, like it's dead. Yeah, it's I, f crazy. I figured more people would be staying till midnight trying to get back like as late as possible, but maybe because everyone's here at the hotel, they're trying to get back in early so they could wake up early for the next morning. I don't know, but I am beat, even though we haven't even had a full day at the park. We just had the entire time exploring this magical hotel. <laughs> I can't wait to get back to the room and, and kind of call it a night because we have a really early morning tomorrow, so very very early sorry <laughs> yeah. but it's okay we have exciting things to do we're gonna try to make it for rope drop we're also gonna try to get into actually not try we have reservations for goofy's kitchen for breakfast yes. so we're doing that as well and then we still missed out the cafe there's a cafe here in the Disneyland hotel we'll check that out get some coffee for you see if it's any good probably gonna be joffrey's coffee if we're taking it a guess but why should I be predicting things? We'll tell you once we get there tomorrow morning. And then we just get to enjoy the park. We didn't even get to talk about the monorail because it was closed by the time we went. Yeah, we'll we'll get to ride the monorail into the park. We'll get so many things to do still. So much in the morning. And maybe we might fit more things in as well. We'll see. Who knows? Things are always up in the air. We're playing everything by ear. Uh, but, oh man, what a magical night here at the Disneyland Hotel. Now time to get to our home at the Frontier Tower. So actually, we're gonna call it right here. We were gonna do one video for this, but we're deciding to split it into two videos. So make sure to check out tomorrow's video as soon as it comes out. We are really excited. Tomorrow morning is going to be a magical morning. Like I said, Goofy's Kitchen for one. We got a few other activities. We're gonna go for rope drop. We'll see though. It is also like 1 a.m. in the morning. Who knows how it's gonna go, but either way. We have lots of stuff planned for tomorrow, so do not miss the video because it will also show lots of, lots of the essence of sit, being able to stay at the hotel. Yeah, this was just the first night. Like, this is the night going in. Tomorrow we'll be talking about the morning of being at a Disneyland hotel. As always, this isn't a goodbye, but just a see you real soon.